I watched it go out and it, it, I mean, it was a hammer blow to everybody. Nobody really saw that coming. No. The impact was incredible. Yeah, it was a shock. I think the best thing the writing team did and the press office keeping it under wraps was a great part of it because it's the shock value that that's what happens in real life. You know, it's such a shock to, um, to, to lose. And it's also something that as a mother, I was dreading this day to mm. come which is why I chose to play it without being too hysterical because it was just the shock of it and the fact that, oh, this is it's actually happening. It was, I mean, it, it was extraordinarily... I mean, I, I, I tweeted, actually, that, that after, I, after I watched that episode of Emmerdale, I texted both of my daughters. I, I oh. felt compelled to say, mm. I love you very much and I hope you're OK. It, it was very harrowing and the, the writer, Karen Young, credit to her. It was, she did a fantastic job. And she just hit all the right beats, I think, in it and, and hit home to a lot of people. And it has hit home to a lot of people. And all the way through this storyline, you've had different people talking to you about it, how it's affected their lives. Um, even you got approached in the street by yes, a woman, did, didn't yes. you, recently? This lady, uh, it was a couple of months ago, and we hadn't actually shot the death of Holly at this point. But she came up to me, she had tears in her eyes, and she said, oh, you play Moira, don't you? And I said, yes. And then she just gave me a hug and really held me, and she said to me, um, my son went through it for 21 years, on and off, oh and gosh. then, and then he relapsed, and they found him dead. So I, I, I was like, oh, because at that point we hadn't shot it, so I didn't tell her that that's what. That's where going, this, yeah, was this was going to go. Going, yeah. It's one of those, one of those stories. With all of the stories, Emmerdale and all the soaps do, when they cover something like this, it's done with such care and such attention to detail. You all want to, yeah. to get it right. How does she progress? What's what's the next part of her story in Emmerdale? She, she's lost her baby as far as she's concerned. So she's kind of, she's lost a limb, like kind of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. She'll, she'll always have her in her heart. But I think she's now got to try and come to terms with the fact that she's never going to see her again. I think in next week's or this week's episodes, we're obviously, I think we'll have the funeral later on in the, in the week where I think it really hits home to her that mm -hmm. that's it. She's never going to see her again, mm -hmm. and that's what she has to kind of. It must have been with. really, really difficult for for you and for Sophie, Sophie Pauls, who I plays know, Holly Button, I know, I know, to have to have. Yeah, done those we, scenes. on the day I just I didn't really know what I was going to do with it because obviously I wanted to honour it as best as I could mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm an actress it's my job to try and be a storyteller I'm, it hasn't actually happened to me but I was aware of I had to, to make sure I hit the right notes and, mm -hmm. and send out the right message that it is it, it's a reality it happens you know these kids are, but it was and the... Holly just got into it by falling with the wrong person it's the yes. wrong people the wrong crowd and it was just that and it wasn't even in a city it was rural so yeah. this is an end everywhere. of your working relationship together with, yeah, with sophie was, also that was sad and uh, i remember when we when i did the scene with her when i cradled her and with her teddy and i did the scene and she was so good at staying still and pretending to be dead and then right after they said cut she just burst into tears mm. and we both just sat there and we kind of uh, continued sobbing a little bit longer yeah, because okay. it was the end for us but also she said it was so sad to her to hear. Well, you you were you were remarkable. I mean, I, I, you'll feel terrible me saying this, but but I thought you were so so good. And the scene where you had your little girl in the room upstairs, and and then she was taken away. That yeah. was so yeah. so powerful. And taken the, in, the, in the house, I mean, yeah, at the end. I only my, I've been in Madeira last week on a little holiday, and so I only I only managed to watch it on Saturday night with my friends. I was on holiday with, and uh, it was tough. But as a whole cast, the writing, the production of it, the crew, everybody, we just did a terrific job, and it, I think it showed, it proved, and I hope we get the message across. Yeah. Don't do it. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Everything has to fit in around Coronation Street. So, you know, when you're in storyline, it is 14 hour days, but when you're not, sometimes you can be off for weeks or... Mm. So, with the music, we're having to play everything by ear. And obviously, family takes priority for me. So, time with Alfie comes first. And if there are things that, you know, he can get involved with, like he's at band rehearsals sometimes. And I bet he, he loves, loves it. it. He absolutely loves it.